European Digital Treasures Project, we are seven partners from seven countries, five national archives from Hungary, Malta, Norway, Portugal and Spain, Cork Institute of Technology and ICARUS. We requested this project to provide a solution to several needs detected uh, for European archives. First of all, the lack of economic return to the sector. Second one, the shortage of transnational mobility for exhibitions and professionals. And last one, the absence of attractiveness for some audiences like young and elderly people. The most important activities of the project are the exhibitions, the three exhibitions that are carried out in partnership. Uh, we highlight the importance uh, of uh, some activities such as the development of merchandising uh, products for archives, the archival literacy online course that is a very interesting project. Approaching the merchandise in a shared manner and ideally also with a shared narrative. In fact, these uh, merchandise have to be linked to the exhibitions. Uh, will contribute not just to have something which is just nice, aesthetically pleasing, but also that is uh, contributes as well to the uh, development and acknowledgement of uh, a shared European identity. We are working on three uh, interactive exhibitions that give support and visibility to three uh, themes that uh, we selected. Uh, the first one is it, the construction of Europe. The second one, a migratory movement and exiles. And uh, the third one, a European discoveries. Working together with, with colleagues from different countries is always a new and really adventurous trip for us. What are the main interests, how they interpret the same historic events uh, which played a crucial part in their history, how they identify their national, local history and identity, and where are the sensitive issues for them? ethnic problems or what are the taboos, it's always very interesting as I've learned a lot even during this project from that. Very um, funny uh, or, or um, interesting uh, to, to try to bring these um, uh, sources to, li to, to life into uh, to the exhibition and together with uh, documents from all over Europe and try to, to show that uh, overholdings are not uh, uh, only unique but they are also part of uh, part of uh, the big the bigger european picture that we are that we are all uh, actually we have a common history even if we are have many many histories so uh, they are very active in looking for records uh, related to their identity uh, looking for their roots family roots or the history of the localities when they born or when they live. And uh, they might provide a good help even for the archival uh, uh, research and archival processes. Uh, because as the digital treasures uh, survey showed us, they would be, they would volunteer. They would have to make indexes, have to make those kind of finding aids which could help their research. So I think it's a, it's a very good uh, cooperation with them. Uh, I hope that the archival literacy online course uh, would be very useful for, for the teachers and for the uh, children. Uh, I hope that they can learn that archives can be fun to explore and that archives actually are hidden treasures, sometimes too well hidden, unfortunately. Uh, and I hope they uh, could learn that archives are important pieces of the big pictures that they are the sources to understanding the past. It will help them to learn how to search for things, that things don't happen, but you have to look for them. And looking at 
your identity, your environment, uh, your family, your friend's family, your, your background uh, through, uh, in the archives, through this uh, IT archival literacy course. I'm pretty sure, I'm absolutely sure actually that this, this, um, this partnership from the uh, European um, Digital Treasures Project will also last into the future. And um, something that's also so interesting and, and positive about these European, uh, European cooperation projects is the fact that you have the, uh, you, you, you plan to have personal meetings, uh, events, and, and, and also the international mobility. And um, so there's a lot of face-to-face -face meeting, which is, which simply goes beyond all the, um, the professional, uh, professional output. And so that's something that keeps on lasting also after, after the end of the project, usually. To strength the cooperation between uh, different actors. It's true, we, know, we knew before some of the national archives involved in this project, but uh, we are learning little by little that uh, cooperating and working uh, together, we can achieve better uh, all these challenges uh, and solve these problems that I mentioned before. Thank you.